What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today, just like the title and thumbnail say, is a London vlog. So we're actually heading out tonight. It is, I don't have a watch, I don't know why I thought I'd look at my time, but I don't know, maybe around 3.30, something like that. And we head to the airport around six. So we need to pack up. And also I need to know, are you guys the type of people that pack just like an assortment of clothes or do you plan out each day? So we're gonna be in London for four days and I kind of basically packed like per day. So like, this is a day right here, this is a day, this is the day, and then this is the day, yes, passport ready, and then some miscellaneous stuff, just some extras in case, winter clothes, airport fit. So um, that's one thing where I'm typically a very bad packer. I always pack, well, overpack, but in this case, since we only have a carry-on right here and probably won't be doing any laundry, I need to make sure I plan ahead. So that's why we're doing, basically breaking each day down by an outfit, that kind of thing. But yeah, um, just wanna intro the vlog. So a little bit different, not so much, I guess, like informative content, not so much of like a food challenge, the typical stuff, just a vlog. So yeah, let's go ahead and pack up and head to London. Also, one quick thing I just wanna mention, I am super excited because I basically was in prep for nine months, all of 2023 so far, and the stress around traveling was extremely high because I wanna make sure that I was still making progress towards my goal of bodybuilding, stepping on a stage. But now that I'm done with bodybuilding prep and kind of enjoy myself a little bit more, I am extremely excited. So we're gonna have lots of good food. I'm uh, gonna go to a Tottenham soccer game with my little brother, Sam. We're meeting my little brother, Ben, who's on a exchange or, yeah, what's it called? not foreign exchange, uh, study abroad program over there. So he's gonna meet us in London. We're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving as a family over there. So just super excited. I'll take you guys along for the ride. Uh, we're there for four days, as I mentioned. So this will probably be a two part vlog, like day one and two in one vlog, this vlog, and then day three and four in another. But yeah, I'm super excited. I get to go kind of stress-free, enjoy a trip without having prep kind of looming over my head. But um, yeah, let's pack all this up and head to the airport. I guess that's the next thing, right? Alrighty, so after a long day, or I should say night of travel, we've made it to London. We're gonna be eating at Cambridge, right here. So the rest of the family's upstairs. Just gonna give you guys a quick intro clip, but I'm starving. We're gonna have some shepherd's pie, as well as a pint or two. So we're gonna head on upstairs, and it's really cool, because everything's Christmas, Christmas themed here, even though today is Thanksgiving in the United States. They obviously don't celebrate that here, so everything's Christmas themed. We're just right up my alley, so I'll show you guys what we get to eat. I don't think so. There's no such thing as that. Can you do that for your company? No, it's like, so, so I talked to my boss and I said, forget the gravy. Thank you, that looks great. Oh, and mushy peas. And Sam got yes. fish and chips. I'm glad you didn't ask me if that's a guacamole. <laughs> All right, cool, so I got the lamb shank shepherd's pie. So basically mashed potatoes on top over the, I guess, meat and gravy. So see if we can dig in, get a bite here. Hope it's not steaming hot. Oh, it's really hot, but you can see the steam. Oh, all right, so let me go in. I might burn my mouth. Oh, now it's super hot. Oh, that's so good. I will say I'm very, very hungry as well. That is heavy. It's gonna be, <laughs> I think, everything we're gonna eat this week. Luckily it is cold here, so it kind of fits the vibe, but that's delicious. My mom didn't quite finish hers. This is the slow cooked beef rib, shin, and pulled brisket pie. Um, and since it's technically Thanksgiving in the States, calories don't count. So this is kind of like a Thanksgiving dinner we're talking about. We got our mashed potatoes, carrots, um, got some bread, meat, all that good stuff. So we're gonna give this a quick try. This is definitely a little bit more flaky. Let's see. So hot. I think this one's better than mine. <laughs> Shepherd's pie was good, but I do think this is a little bit better. But um, yeah, really good start to London so far. Great food, I tried my, uh, my dad's truffle. What did you get? The chicken truffle oyster mushroom pie, and that was also really good. So really we are off to a good start, and um, yeah, I'm gonna finish off this, and then I'll see you guys, I think probably wanna check into the flat, that kind of thing. All right, so we've got the sticky toffee pudding. We've got custard and ice cream. I'm personally more a fan of ice cream, so we're gonna get a little bit of ice cream to start, and a little bit of the pudding. Mm. 
That is really good. It's definitely, I'll say, this tastes like caramel to me a little bit with, is, I mean, what would you say the consistency is like? Like a brownie consistency? Like a moist, moist yeah, brownie. Yeah, very moist brownie. I mean, that's delicious. I think, yeah, ice cream, sweets, very good balance out to the pies too. It's really good. All right, so a little bit of an update. We finish up our meal. Uh, Sam, Em, and I are walking around now, but our Airbnb canceled on us last minute. So basically, it seems like a very, very poor run Airbnb. The communication back and forth was not great. And then as we were literally eating our meal before we could check in, the guy said, what was it, a leak? There's some sort of like leak in our Airbnb and it's no longer rentable. So we are homeless in London at the moment, wandering around. Um, so yeah, that is um, not exciting. Something that's definitely gonna make my mom very stressful. So we're just kind of taking a walk for a little bit, but yeah, great meal, good start to the day. And also last time I filmed here, I pretty much just only filmed the food. So hopefully I'm gonna get a little bit more than just the food in the vlog. But yeah, good start to the day. Also, I never wear glasses. So um, this is just because we had an overnight flight, had to take the contacts out. But um, yeah, we'll see what we get into and hopefully we have a place to stay tonight. So what is it, Sam? Taiyaki? Yeah. Is, is it custard in? Is that what we Let's think? See. All right, take a bite. Let's see. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> it's custard. <laughs> I think we might need a napkin. <laughs> is, it is it hot? Is it warm? It's warm. It's warm. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the inside real quick. Cross section. Oh yeah. <laughs> Emma knows how to be careful. Please be careful when consuming our freshly made small taki fish. Hot custard filling inside. Good thing we saw we that. We didn't now. read that yet. All right. So here we go. Um, little fish bite the head. Mm. It's just like a donut. It's a little more cakey than a donut, like yeah. a bit thicker of a dough. But like custard's really good. I will say, I think it'd be better hot. Like it's warm, but it's not hot. That's pretty good. I will say for some street food, it's like a warm cake donut with some custard in the middle. A plus. Oh my god, look at that dog. <laughs> oh my god. Look how small. I'm gonna have a second one too. One bite. <laughs> nice. I mean, even for America, that's good. Yeah, I mean, we're used to, we're used to All right, I'm gonna cut it in half. Let's go with that. All right, so we're gonna start with the, I think, chocolate pretzel. I like it because it looks like a buckeye to me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. I think I'm butchering this. All right, ready? <laughs> we're going in. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I took every last bit of that chocolate filling. So sweet. Sugar covered outside. That should be hard to beat. You see the inside, the chocolate filling. That is so good. All right. Well, whatever. We're gonna use a fork. I don't wanna get chocolate in here. This is called, what was what this, Sam? Pink Royal? Pink Royal. Pink Royal, oh my gosh. Should I just try to bite the whole thing? <laughs> Do it. I, I really can't. Oh, we can, what's that? All right, here we go. We're gonna make this work. You have a Yeah. Mm. Very strong raspberry flavor. Do I have a little vanilla on my face? No, you're good. Very strong raspberry flavor. Really good, obviously very different profiles. Very, very sweet forward. A little bit more tart, but a really good uh, frosting. The top right here, this, that's the winner right here. This vanilla frosting. Mm. So we did a little trip through Chinatown, got some good eats and found that little donut spot. And now we're headed back to meet up with the rest of the family and hopefully, maybe potentially have 
um, our living situation figured out for the next few days. But um, okay, yeah, Harry Potter, and then we're across the street from that. So yeah, and also I'm a huge sweets person, so as much as we're gonna have some savory stuff on here, I think most of the meals will be savory, and most of the treats are gonna be sweet. Um, but yeah, that's because I have a huge sweet tooth. And also we've been watching the Great British Baking Show, and that has kind of given us a list of stuff we wanna knock out as far as things we wanna try. I do think Borough Market will make it there, and that's gonna be the big place where we just sample a ton of stuff. And having seven people makes it really easy, because you get seven different things, everyone gets one bite, versus when just Katie and I, uh, we just get like two things, you have to sample or split between two people. We get seven things split between seven people and we get a whole lot more. So stay tuned for a lot more food. But um, yeah, hopefully we have a place to sleep tonight. What a start to the trip. Okay, so long story short, we had an Airbnb booked. We got to basically right outside the Airbnb, there's a little pub where we got some food at. While we were waiting to check in, we got a message that said, hey, your Airbnb has a water leak and it's no longer um, available for reservation. So we basically had to scramble for the next, I don't even know, probably three hours to try to figure out what we're gonna do. We tried hotels. Once again, that's um, seven people trying to get a hotel room. A lot of places only had one or two rooms left because we're trying to stay in a decent area of London. We tried Airbnb. Uh, we got a hold of people. None of our cards were working. My mom's account wasn't working. I tried my account wasn't working. Eventually, somehow, some way, um, I used my Apple card instead of my credit card, and on my account, rather, I just a huge debacle. But we made it. We have a place to now actually stay. So that kind of brought that uh, pain um, to an end, that weight lift off the shoulder. So do we now have a place we just got here? It was about a 45 minute walk, but honestly walking through uh, Oxford Street and London was not bad at all. Uh, we sent the parents ahead with all of our luggage, so we're getting unpacked here. But yeah, um, definitely a very much Christmas focused environment at this point, because even though it is Thanksgiving technically over in the States, here they don't celebrate it, so it's already Christmas, which is awesome, which I'm a huge fan of. So as we walked around, we saw some lights that obviously you guys saw as we walked over here. Here. Otherwise, yeah, we're now here we're waiting on my other little brother Ben to get in who should be in, in about um, What like 45 minutes to an hour something like that? Yep. Um, and then we all figure out what we want to do But also with like the time change the jet lag only getting like three hours of sleep on the plane Some of us are probably napping already um, out in the actual living room and then we'll kind of figure out but once again Yeah, absolute madness <laughs> absolute crazy start to the trip absolute crazy Thanksgiving the craziest I've ever had but we have made it successfully and I'll definitely keep you guys posted with what we do the rest of the day, food, all that kind of good stuff, even though it is already, I believe like, yeah, even though it's already 7 p.m. here, still have a lot of energy, I still wanna go out, I still wanna get some food, explore a little bit, so yeah, but we made it and I'll see you guys when we eventually maybe round up a few people to go out to maybe a pub or something like that. All right, so it's a little loud in here, but we're at Burger and Beyond, or is it just, is it just Burger Beyond or Burger and Beyond? Burger and Beyond. We have a double bacon cheeseburger right here. Looks like they had some special sauce on there. Um, yeah, we'll give this a quick bite. We got some other sides to try as well. That's so juicy. Making a mess, but we're gonna do rapid fire. I'm gonna try. We got the truffle tops right here. Parmesan cheese looks like. That is like a very thick mayo sauce. We got, what is this, bone marrow fries? Gravy, yeah. Bone marrow gravy fries. Just gonna try some of these. Probably use a fork, but screw it. I don't know, I don't have, I don't get a ton of flavor from those. The truffle is definitely a lot stronger than those. But I will say the burger, damn good. I will say probably one of my top burgers I've had in London. Well, I've only had one, so. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this, everyone else. We also have, okay, one, one last thing, a sauce, and a secret sauce of some sort. Definitely like mayo, I'm getting like mayo barbecue. Some sort of kind of mixture in that aspect, like a little bit of sweet, savory, but. Overall, really good. Whatever sauce is on here, though, that is the best part of this burger right here. So upon further examination, AK, when I finish the burger, that is going in my top five burgers of all time. As far as any restaurant I've ever had, fast food, casual, fancy, whatever it is, that is a top five burger right there. The sauce made it well cooked. As far as the fries go too, I was a little hard of them. They were actually really good. You just have to like kind of get down to where it's a little bit thicker and you can actually get the, the bone marrow gravy. 
and the fries are pretty thick, so they actually hold up. They don't become just like mushy. So that's overall, I mean, starting off hot. That's I'm gonna give the whole meal like a nine out of ten. That was really really good. Good call by Ben. But yeah, we're gonna ho hopefully find some dessert. Wait, these Four are both cheese, the same. Egg yeah. Tart. You're that's wearing a raspberry yours. one. Oh yeah, it is yeah, raspberry. Video, I'm wearing all my food. <laughs> is it custard? Yeah. All right. It's like hard it's not custard. It's not like runny, sweet. but it's, 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 sweet. it's, it's, it's not sweet. an egg tart. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, it's been recording. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. Egg tart, custard. I do like the flakiness. I do. You can see the layers. Lamination. Great lamination. Yeah, from the Great British Baking Show. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. The. Mm. Why, why can't I think of the word? What's the outside? Shell? Uh, pastry. pastry. The pastry is really, really good. Custard, uh, I could take it or leave it, but the pastry itself is really, really good. And we're just about home, back to the Airbnb. So I'm gonna wrap things up here for the day. Unfortunately, didn't find any other sweets on the way home. Since it's a little bit after 11, most places were closed besides McDonald's. I was not gonna stop at McDonald's while I'm in London, but I did have a little bite of that egg tart, which was good. But so far, the food has been amazing. Everything has lived up, lived up to the hype, the expectations, all that good stuff, and a lot more food to come. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, yeah, Nick and I are on our own tomorrow morning for a little bit, thank you, uh, because my family's gonna do a tour that my brothers and I actually already did last morning here. So Nick and I are gonna wander around, probably get some good food, maybe try to find a full English, English breakfast. That is what I'm craving. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. This looks a lot better than the first one we had. It. Start off day number two here in London. Uh, a first full day and first full English. I mean, this thing is loaded. We've got two pieces of toast. We've got our mushrooms, tomatoes, um, I guess bacon, or um, what do they call them? Uh, rashes of bacon. Yeah, rashes of bacon, sausage, two eggs, beans, um, hash browns. I mean, this looks absolutely amazing. I'm very excited to dig in. I'll give you guys the final review. And hopefully this isn't the only full English. Maybe have one or two uh, the rest of the week to kind of compare things. But we're going to dig in. I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards. Great, great start to the day. All right, so we actually demolished that full English. It was amazing. I will say the big difference, I feel like the full English is super savory, where the American breakfast is a little bit more sweet, like we'll have maybe a pancake, waffle, some syrup on the side. This is all savory, so that's the only thing I wish I had was a little bit of sweetness, but obviously with the bakeries around, we're probably gonna find like a chocolate croissant or something, so we'll have that savory and sweet combo at some point, but absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm gonna eat my way through London, and that's a great start to the day, so see you guys in the next meal. Not too far of a walk later, we found my sweet treat at Gale's. We've got a chocolate almond croissant, which looks absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, you can see the layer. Oh my gosh, all right. I thought I need to like almost break into it and see if we can find a good cross section. Oh, oh there we go. See the inside there? Oh, it looks so good. All right, we're gonna do a bite in the middle. So flaky. That pastry, unreal. So good. A little bit chocolate, but not too overpowering. Just a little bit of sweetness. I mean, just look at that. The layers, the layers. This is the Great British Baking Show. It's gonna make me try so many pastries. <laughs> but now, once again, I feel like I have a chocolate croissant, so like next time I need something else. So, chocolate croissant in London, down. Absolutely amazing. Wow, I'm gonna give this 9.5 out of 10. This is so damn good. And breakfast, I'm gonna go 8.5. I think there's room for improvement. It was really good, but I do think there's room for improvement there. It was classic, but yeah. 8.5 for breakfast, 9.5 for the croissant, and yeah, stay tuned for more food. All right, so it's a little bit windy. We're walking down Baker Street, going to head to the Sherlock Holmes Museum and Statue, right? Is that what it is? Yep. But I will say, that chocolate almond croissant has been the best thing I've had in London so far. I will say, better than the donuts, better than everything else, so that is the number one item to beat right now. Overall, really good, I would say. Woo! Yeah, there they go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Best thing so far.
All right, so we're back in Soho, and funny enough, about a year ago, we ate right here at the Ganton Arms. We were, um, Nick and I and Charlie, and I think this is where I got my first official fish and chips. Um, I will say, so so Nick got a better fish and chips at um, Borough Market, yep. which I think is where I'm gonna try my fish and chips this time. It's just funny to be back in the same area, and I didn't even know we were here until Nick was like, we almost ate there, and then we didn't eat there, and then walked around the corner we had there. And just funny, about a year later, well, uh, over a year, yeah, over it was last year. summer, yeah. yeah. Let's say like, I don't know, 14 months later, we're in the same area, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Soho is awesome, so we're gonna explore a little bit. Just walk around, look at some shops, and pretty much wait until my the rest of my family's done because they did a tour that Nick and I had already done. We actually did a bike tour. They do a taxi tour, which I think bikes way better. Um, but it's a little cold out to bike, so they're doing a tour, and we'll meet up with them eventually. But we'll probably find a pub to hang out at, and then they're done at one. Probably meet up with them for some food. But um, yeah, other than that, we're on the hunt for some more pastries. in Soho, we're headed towards Covent Garden, walk down Regent Street, saw the Gymshark shop, all that kind of stuff, which is cool. That Regent Street is just full of super, super expensive shops and shopping, I mean, Coach, Cartier, all that kind of stuff. And then we walked through, uh, what was it called? Hamley's? Plan or Plant, well, Hamley's was a toy store, yeah. yes, in insane toy fitness. store. Yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, not <laughs> Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet, which was like, if you know me, I love anime, uh, which I've never really seen manga too much, but it was a really cool spot um, that Nick found. And then we're gonna go find a pastry shop and then the triplets should be done with my parents on their tour and we'll meet them for some lunch. So yeah, pastry, lunch, and then we'll be back in Covent Garden area as well, so. At Rome. So we are at a Rome. Um, and the thing that sold out, which I didn't plan to come here for, was their honey butter toast, which looks, I mean, amazing. That, I mean, oh, it's just glistening. It has a nice little char to it, but they were sold out. And then they basically said, hey, wait five minutes. And then there are pre-orders though, but the lady um, who checked me out, I think kind of snuck one off. So I got <laughs> this that should have been a pre-order, but um, we got lucky. But yeah, I mean, I, I assume this is gonna just taste like butter. So let's bite into it. Oh my God. <laughs> Good. So butter after you can see that. And so, oh my gosh, so crispy and buttery. And it's like, oh wow. Let's see if I can give you guys a, a cross section from the middle too. Oh. I mean, it's literally just like toast and butter, but like drenched in honey, super sweet. Mm. That's so good. Do you want to try a bite? Sure, yeah. All right. Uh, it's so hard to explain how good this is. Uh, so we're down to our last cold bites. Nick had some and agreed. It is really, really good. But it's so basic. Like, the, the bread is so pillowy soft. It is some of the softest bread I've ever had. And I think they just, like, put a little bit of honey, butter, and then cook it. And this is fresh and warm, so that makes it even better. Because we literally saw them pull it out of the oven. 
Um, as far as a rating goes, I do, it's, it's very simple, but they do a really good job. I'm gonna give it a 9.2, just below the chocolate croissant from earlier of a 9.5. So this is really, really good. It's very simplistic, it's butter, it's honey, it's bread, done very, very well. I just do, once again, feel like I could have a little bit more sweetness, a little bit more sugar to it, <laughs> my American palate, my sweet tooth. But overall, a fantastic stop. Really glad we stopped here. Now we're gonna go meet up with our family and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. To just finish up our, I guess, lunch at Cricket. As you can see, there's just so much, honestly, I just wanna sit down and enjoy it. We had basically a little bit of everything. It was more of like tapas style where you share it all. Really, really good and basically we're gonna walk around for a little bit. We have an early dinner around five, so it was a good kind of nice little break. Hopefully maybe find another pastry. I feel like meal pastry, meal pastry is just the way to go when you're in London. <laughs> um, but yeah, really good meal overall, Indian food, and yeah, see you guys at the next item. So we're just about done with the hot chocolate. It's said award winning. I'm not gonna give any awards. It was definitely good. How to get in the Christmas spirit. We're at the, Ben, where are we? Leicester, Leicester Square. Leicester, Leicester uh, Square Christmas market. So how to get some hot chocolate, but definitely not award winning, but it was okay, so. Yeah, we're gonna keep walking around. We do have an early dinner, as I mentioned, like 5.30, but I might have a pastry between now and then. <laughs> we'll see. So on our way back from dinner, had to pick up a little bit more dessert. As good as the ice cream was, or the ice cream apple crumble, we went to Cafe Concerto, something like that. Honestly, it I think it's a chain because I saw I think a few while we were walking around, but I figured, you know what, why not give it a try? So we have our plate here. Um, we got a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of a blueberry muffin, just because honestly it sounded really good, so I got it, even though I'll probably have something similar to that tomorrow. So we got, let's see here, pull this guy out. We got our blueberry muffin right there with some sort of like, maybe icing on top. And then we have our cake, which I'm really excited to try. This is a chocolate, what was it called? Gateau? I don't know, something like that. But chocolate cake basically looks really, really good. And then Sam um, mentioned this orange and chocolate concoction type thing, which I've never had before. So decided to pick it up. I don't think I've ever had orange and chocolate as a whole. Um, but yeah, I might actually, I'm gonna let you try to do your thing. You wanna try it? Sure. All right. So, so it's orange or it's chocolate covered with orange? Chocolate with like orange oil in it or something like that. Okay, so I guess he does like you crack it. Cause it's, it's a little bit like orange pieces, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. It's those little orange slices. Let me give it a try. Do you want to keep breaking it open and create a cross section? Is that possible? I, don't think, I think it's just chocolate. Oh, just chocolate, <laughs> okay. But tastes like an orange, maybe? I like it. Have some orange? All right, let me give it a try. All right, so they literally, I mean, I guess the cool part is it literally like is an orange slice or an orange peel. It's weird, but it's not bad. It's definitely a lot stronger chocolate with just a hint of orange. I thought there was gonna be a lot more orange. And there's definitely not too much. Hmm, that's good. But all right, let's go ahead and try this chocolate gateau. And do okay. It's like well, it's weird. It's like a firm, but I think it's empty. Let's see if I can just kind of. What is that? It's like hollow, or it is hollow. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Light, fluffy, moist, all the good stuff. And then I'm gonna just do a bite of this. I do think it's like a blueberry muffin basically with some frosting, I think. But I'm just gonna unravel this. I'm just gonna give this a big bite. I haven't had a muffin Gosh, I literally probably haven't had a muffin in a year. I don't think I've had a muffin all the prep, and I haven't had a muffin since I got off prep. So let's give this a try. Mmm. There's frosting inside of it. 
Mm. I will say, not stale, but definitely a little bit older. It's not horrible, but it definitely isn't fresh. My guess has maybe been in there all day, but it is what it is. It's still not bad. I'm definitely gonna eat the whole thing. But I think that's gonna wrap up day two in this video. So stay tuned because tomorrow is Borough Market, which is gonna be in log, like, or not log, London vlog part two. It's gonna split up the days as well as a Tottenham game on Sunday. So tomorrow, Borough Market is the key. Sunday is gonna be Tottenham, so stay tuned for that video. But without further ado, I'm gonna sign off. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.